welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about The Witcher, of course, the Netflix series. Now, if you follow this and you are a fan of Han Henry Cavill, you are a fan of The Witcher, you probably didn't care that much about Witcher Season 2. So, now that Witcher Season 3 is just around the corner, are you going to be watching it? I'll probably check it out and talk about it. Just to, uh, I would say monetize it, but not making any money from YouTube, so no monetization, but definitely for the clicks, for the views, and everything else. All right, let's get into this article. All right, so Netflix, The Witcher renewed for season five. Casting director Sophie Hedlund adds that they are about to begin filming for season four. Netflix has officially renewed The Witcher for a fifth season. The news was confirmed by casting director Sophie Holland, who is uh, also working on the likes of The Continental, Heads of State, and The Beetlejuice sequel, all things I don't think I'm interested in. She revealed to Variety, we're just about starting start filming on season four with Liam Hemsworth, and there will be a short gap then we go straight into season five. The upcoming third season of The Witcher makes, which makes it part of one premiere this June, will be Henry Cavill's last ride as, as Gerald of Rivia before he is replaced by Liam Hemsworth. When asked if she was surprised by Cavill's departure from the role, Holland answered, I probably won't comment on that one. I'd love to, but I won't. Um, they don't like Henry Cavill because he's a fan of The Witcher. He knows and has played The Witcher. That is why he was such a great Gerald of Rivia. Pointing that out, I liked him in the role. I didn't like the second season. The first season, I think I only liked it because it was all mixed up and didn't, you know, there was just no linear story to it. And I was like, I'm confused about, you know, and just it was all, but just pointing that out. Um, let's see. She added, I really look forward to seeing what Liam brings. He has a big fan base. What? He does. Doubt that Witcher fans really want to see him but all right well, season four will be a nice mix of new characters and returning faces cavill's exit from the series and hemworth's replacement were both announced in late 2022 although the former did not give a reason for his departure my journey as gerald of rivia has been filled with both monsters and adventures and alas i will be laying down my medallion and my sword for season four. Cavill wrote on Instagram. Actually, we, we kind of do know the reason why Henry Cavill quit. Uh, he said, he, he, he said that, uh, let's get into the material, the, the book material, the game material. Let's make it for fans. Let's give it what it needs to have. And they, made it shit, so he decided to leave. Just pointing that out. In my stead, the fantastic Mr. Liam Hemsworth will be taking up the mantle of the White Wolf. Yeah, I'm not really interested. And, yeah, whatever. As with the greatest of literary characters, I pass the torch with reverence in the time spent embodying Geralt and enthusiasm to see Liam's take on this most fascinating and nuance of men. Liam, good sir, this character has a wonderful depth to him. Enjoy diving in and seeing what you can find. The Witcher Season 3 Part 1 premieres June 29th on Netflix. Okay. So, let's be perfectly honest about one thing. Henry Cavill didn't leave because the show was good and that he wanted to pass on the torch. No, 
he left because the show was shit. And he's a fan, and he wants to do things right. He wants to do things for the fans, and not some political agenda. Point that out. Now, the showrunners have come out and attacked Henry Cavill multiple times, where even the actors who acted with him have come out and said, hey, we loved working with Henry Cavill. So... I wonder why. Oh, wait, he didn't want to do all the bullshit narrative. <sighs> woke garbage shit that the showrunners wanted. So you lost one of the best actors and and possibly the fans favorite for Gerald. Hey, look, you're doing exactly what game James Gunn did. You're getting rid of your cash cow. And now, fans won't appreciate it. Now, look, Liam Hemsworth, I'm sure, you know, I've, I've, to be perfectly honest, I only really remember him in one movie, and we all know, well, three, was it four movies? The Hunger Games, three movies, maybe? I don't really remember, but he was in them. And, uh, just kind of a cuckold, if you ask me. But I digress. Look, I didn't really care that much for his character. He was all right, but, you know, it wasn't anything special. Do I think he can pull off a Geralt of Rivia? Maybe. But anything close to Henry Cavill, he's not going to be, you know, that's going to be miles off. I really don't think that fans of Henry Cavill and The Witcher will appreciate his replacement and... You know, I, I get the feeling that Liam's, Liam Hemsworth, I can even get his name right, will portray Geralt in the way that fans want him to be portrayed. He will do exactly what he's told by the showrunners. He will be the woke message. I'm surprised at this point that they didn't just turn Geralt of Rivia black. Just saying. All right, so I'm not looking forward to this. I don't know if you're looking forward to this. Let me know down in the comments below. Heck, even use a emoji or two to let me know your thoughts. Hey, if you like this video, smash that like button. Consider subscribing and hitting the bell for notifications. All right, until next time, take care.